Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jung Lo, the owner of a Dragon House. Today is May 30. Um, right next to me, I have Hyman Abaddon. He will be making his MMA debut on our upcoming event, Dragon House 26, August 12th at the heart of San Francisco, Kizar Pavilion. Now, uh, Hyman, good to have you on board. I've been, <clears throat> I've been talking to you uh, for a while to get you a fight on a Dragon House event. Now, let's introduce you to all the MMA fight fans out there in the Bay, who you are, where you're coming from, and what got you into martial arts. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm Jaime Abraham. I grew, uh, I was born in San Jose. I grew up there half my life, and I ended up moving to the Philippines. From there, um, my mom was worried about me getting bullied, and my dad passed away. So I ended up taking, going to a B, uh, BJJ gym under Stephen Camphouse, who was under uh, Machado. Mm. And he basically raised me off there uh, growing up in BJJ. So your mother nature of a martial art it's, is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Yes. So I'm assuming you're more like a ground guy, grappler. Oh yes, I love to scrap around the ground. Sounds awesome. So um, now, how? what got you into like do MMA from Jiu Jitsu transition to MMA? Uh, when I started Jiu Jitsu, I was winning uh, some competitions. And I was thinking about it, hey, you know, I was watching those UFC fights growing right. up, and I was like, huh, it seems pretty interesting. So I ended up taking kickboxing for a little bit, learned how to strike, had my first fight around 16, around kickboxing, and I ended up wanting to, like, all right, I want to mix this around, I want to jump into the MMA world. Well, MMA debut was always interesting for me to, to watch and perform in our show because amateur MMA fights are only two minute rounds. So it's not like a five minute round as a pro, people are a little bit more patient, they more strategize the, the every, every, every move. You know, a lot of amateur guys, you only got two minutes, you want to get it out there and as soon as the bell ring, they just go at it. So um, a lot of time I have no expectation of what's going to come out of MMA uh, debut guys because they don't even know what they're going to do. You know, sometimes the bell rings and plans go out of the door window, they just uh, go at it. So I'm, I'm very interested in looking, you know, look, Look forward to like see you perform. Now, um, who who are you fighting? I believe my opponent is Jake Coxman. He's fighting out of El Nino. Mm -hmm. So, what do you know about your opponent? What I'm seeing is I heard he's a scrapper. So I'm looking forward to see how he does in the, the two minute fights. So, so, what what's your training preparation looks like to prepare for him for this fight? So, what I've been doing this past for, uh, couple of weeks is I've been training down in AKA, working my MMA, work with Jesse G for my boxing, and I work with Chris Hall down uh, for a set in Wai Thai for helping me out set, uh, sorry, for helping me out in my Wai Thai, and I work with Leandro for my Jiu Jitsu. So we're trying to get the whole package together and then get ready for this upcoming fight. Yeah. This is a big, big fight. So now, um, any sponsors you want to shout out to? Uh, I want to shout out to my, first of all, my teammates from AKA, my family from Ascent Muay Thai, and my Checkmat teammates who've been helping me out with my Jits, as well as Deep Core Athletics for helping me out for my nutrition and strength and conditioning. So you're fighting an abandoned weight, you know, um, what do you walk around at? I usually just walk around like 146, 148. So you don't really cut, cut that much weight? No, I don't. I just like to stay feeling good, you know being light. That's awesome. So any special diet you're doing and you know? Oh, for diet in terms of just, I've just been eating uh, whole foods mainly. Just Whole foods? Just, you know, rice, chicken, nothing. I try to stay away from the processed stuff as much right, as possible. Right, right. So trying to eat for nice and clean. Yeah, nice and clean. So on your conditioning, prepare for this fight. Always interesting to, to know like every athlete, what their secrets. What, what's your conditioning look like a prepare for your cardio for the fight? My cardio has been always been just running. I, normally when I wake up in the morning early, maybe five or so, I do my running. Five o'clock in the morning? Or, oh, that's a dedication right there. Yeah. And do you have a job? Yes, I do. So you have a full-time yeah. job and, and, uh, and, and training. And that's, that's dedication. Well, anything you want to shout out to, uh, last word to all the MMA fight fans out there in the Bay? Uh, first of all, if you don't know me, now you do. And come watch my fight, especially my fan, my family, my friends, my MMA debut at Dragon House on August 12th. That's a big deal. So everyone want to get a ticket? 
Please hit him up. Now, if people want to get the tickets from you, how can people contact you? Uh, you can reach me on my Facebook, Jaime Abedem, or you can reach me on my Instagram, Jaime Scrap Abedem. Or if you want to just meet me in person to get a ticket, you know, I'm always an APA. What's your prediction on this fight? The prediction of this fight? Since uh, he's a scrapper, I'm looking for a war with him. Give a good show. Do you think it's going to go to the distance or are you going to be finishing? I'm hopefully I can finish it, but no, I don't feel like going six minutes headbanging with the guy. But if I can finish it, I'll finish it. Awesome. Well, I'm John Lowe, the owner of the Dragon House. Looking forward to put up another epic show for the MMA Fight Fan in the Bay. Um, for more information about the fight card layout, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. This event will be broadcast nationwide, pay-per-view, so you can order your pay-per-view from my website as well. And please giving us a like or support, subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for the love and support. Look forward to put up another show for you guys. And good to have Hammond Abedins on board. Thank you. Look for forward having to have you perform. Peace.